Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we are playing Somerville. This is a game by indie game developer Jumpship. It is a walking simulator, kind of like Inside or Little Nightmares. It definitely has a very unique story, which I really liked. And about four hours of total playtime, I probably played it a little bit slow. I know people could probably get it a little quicker than I did. So let's go ahead and get started. That's not ominous, not at all. Also, I go through the intro, which is, I think, really nice and kind of relaxing. Definitely set up the game pretty well. Uh, the end of the game was pretty hard. And again, with only a four-hour game and them charging $20 full price, not quite so sure about it. It definitely is something I would wait for it to go on sale. I bought it in a Planet of Lana bundle, so super awesome. Definitely worth it, you know, on sale. Probably not worth full price, just so you know. So, and I generally do a lot of indie games. I do some stocks. I do a little bit of everything. So, hey, if you like what I'm doing in any of these aspects, hey, please uh, give this video a like and a subscribe, and that would be really helpful, and thank you. So looks like we have our little family returning home. Do not worry, you can pet the dog. 100% awesome, which we we'll definitely recommend. Okay, so now we've pretty much met the main character, the family. Obviously, that is going to play a huge part into the story. And who doesn't like a little uh, family couch cuddling? Though my dog would definitely be up there with us, st sticking her nose everywhere. of the kid so we're just gonna kind of chill we're gonna be walking 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 let's see I'm looking to escape here
Oh, I'm moving. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Oh, I got my little pet. There we go. <laughs> that will... <laughs> that little pet will make an appearance later in the game. I think I need to buy that for my son. I see a lot of colors going on outside, but this is going to help me figure out what I can do here. There we go. Nope, I don't need that anymore. We're heading up. Oh, we're trying to head up. Okay. Let's get these drawers. They need to baby proof this house a little bit better. There we go. That's the second drawer. I think we are up. Of course, we're going to head for the bright lights. We'll step right over the stove. I'm sure it's perfectly stay safe. And head for the window. Oh! And I'm stuck in a trash can. So, you know, let's let's get some nightly duties taken care of. Oh, hey, little puppy. Oh. So, dog will help you lead for some of the stuff. Let's, see, let's head down to the basement. There's a light switch somewhere, maybe. No, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go continue to explore. Oh, let's pet the dog. Uh, let's see. Okay, nice. Looks nice and peaceful. I just saw a lot of colors earlier. Oh, he does not have food. Okay, what you trying to tell me, boy? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now we actually have lights. So we can actually see what we're doing down here, which is picking up the dog food. <laughs> happy, happy little glitchy puppy there. That's definitely a bomb. Let's see if we can grab the family. No, let's see, I'm missing something.
There we go. Always follow the puppy. Now, now it's time to grab the kid and go. Oh, she wants the back. Oh, it's nice that she has a crack back from this. I like that. That bag, you know, forget it now. Oh, I just paid it off. Oh. Okay. It's an actual person. I mean, they have set up a lot, this game already, just going through the first 13 minutes of it. Okay, so, trigger. Oh, my puppy, stay with me. I am alive. With a special power. So let's let's move some stuff around. Let's see. And if I actually touch it, I can clear stuff from the house. So there are some things that definitely can be blocked and cleared with lights, and that's kind of one of the main abilities of my character. So <laughs> excuse me. Oh, same thing with the light here. Again, I can clear. Let's just see. And I can just kind of keep clearing. I can clear, clean this place up a little bit. Okay. So let us get out of here. Okay, where's my little pooch? I know you're coming. There he goes. Okay. Alright, so now the... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Mm. We get another blockage, but I can... Again, hold this. And use my powers. 
So some of it's not, like I said, some parts of the game, I, it took me a bit to figure out just, you know, how to do everything. Some of it is just kind of like a trial and error, and then these things. No, they don't like it. All right, come on, open the door. There we go. It looks like the whole town is pretty much having a bad day. <clears throat> oh. Okay, well, that's helpful. I don't think that did what I thought it would do. Let's see. Hold on, I'll try it again. I see it going all the way up there. Hey, come on, little guys. Can you clean up this for me? There we go. Okay. going this way. Alright, let's see. Yeah, sometimes the direct, like I said, Sometimes, the, like, the direction that I need to go just does not make sense. So I think they cleared that for me, yeah? Okay. Can't use the power for anything. So I need light or something to magnify it. There, there'll be other things that you'll find that will also do the same thing. <clears throat> Don't worry, the dog will always be able to follow you and find you. You'll appear sometimes. At first I was like, I think I lost my puppy, but no. He always is around somewhere. Man, wicked cold going on. Okay, right, see? Okay. Well, you can see something going on in the background. It's probably never a good thing. Oh, and I see someone. All right, so make note of these signs. I did not realize it at the beginning of the game. I totally passed them. They are part of the final level. I totally missed them. Not going to lie, had to, had to get a little help getting through the end just because I would look back on like, I don't know what we're doing here. So it's good to kind of know those if you're going for it. Like I said, it made it take me a lot longer to get the ending of it because I just did not think about looking for something literally... 20 minutes in the game that's going to help me at the end of the game. Okay. That doesn't sound good.
Yep. Time to run, bud. Oh, I see something I can hide in. Ooh. Nope. Looks like it's sucking everything in. Lost my balls. Okay. <laughs> well, that was we survived that. Let's continue on forward. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna keep moving. Oh wow! So, oh, I saw my red guy. He's hiding up there. There we go. Let's use that. Oh! Well, I just crushed myself totally on the head there. Yep, and you can die. So we're just gonna try to do that maybe a little bit differently. So that it does not crush me on the head. And then we can move through there. Definitely not the first time I've crushed myself in the head. Uh, okay. So there is death. Uh, and some repeating, but never I've never it was never very long. So most of the times you got pretty much where you were, which I think is very positive because I hate having to go back like long times in game and you're just kind of stuck in it. Oh. And I'm stuck in the goo. Now let's see if we can go this way. Oh, did not show you my best balancing act there. Let's try this again. There we go. I think I gotta go. I gotta look through there, I believe. Oh. <clears throat> so, again, another sequence that you have to kind of think about. So, again, at first I did not know what I was looking at that long ago, so. You know, again, it's also so early in the game. That definitely made it very frustrating. But, I mean, other than that, I really didn't have a huge amount of frustrations, even though some of the puzzles were definitely unique or you had to fail to try. Other than that, eh, not bad. Okay, so. I see something in the background there. Well, there's my there's my faithful pooch. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this this way because if we try to go out to the boat, it's not gonna end well for us. Oh, and I will see you later, pooch. Don't you worry. Okay, so like I said, we can hide behind the boat. So as long as I stay out of the light, I won't die and then have to restart. But I have to get through here. Again, I was worried that I'd be leaving the dog forever. Don't worry. You will find him. Towards about the mid part of the game. So. I know that's what most, are most people's mind. They're like, eh, kids or family? Nah, we're good. How about the dog? Okay. Oh, okay, my little so my little dudes are back. Like I said, they're cleaning up the area when they can. But I really need them to clean up like this. So Well, one of the ways to do it, let's go ahead and pull this up. 
Come on. Maybe the wrong way? There we go. Alright, we're going to take this with me. <clears throat> so again, you saw little dudes. They clean up the areas if it's covered in this, in the goo. Drop it. There we go. Get nice and goo filled. Yes. So I need them to get over here enough to find out that stuff. So again, we're going to move it. No. Oh. And it took me a couple times to, like, get the timing of it. Because I need them to be a little bit further. You do too fast, they're not going to be close enough. You do too far. I'll leave up. Oh, yeah, let's try that again. We got this. Okay, ready? Go. There we go. Hi, guys. Look. Look over here. Yes. Oh, come on. A little bit more. There we go. Some more drongs. You know there are survivors, not just me. They're hanging around. Whoop. <laughs> just like that. Again, some more of the blue dots that you need to worry about thinking about. And even though I've looked at it, I still don't understand the final puzzle so much. So, it is what it is. I just made sure I got the good ending, of course. Mm, that's not good. Alright, I'll see what we got. Oh, why my puppy? He somehow made it across with me. Nope, can't go that way, so we'll follow him. I know, bud. I got you. I got you covered. Okay. Here goes some survivors. And of course, you pretty much get a, a sense of just kind of like how doomed the world is at the moment. So, we'll pet the dog. He's been good to me. So, I think I will leave you here. So, you've seen about the first half an hour of the game. Obviously, I had a lot of fun playing through it. Again, the end puzzle was a little bit more frustrating. But overall, I had a very good time playing it. I very much enjoyed it. So I definitely would pick this up when it comes on the Steam Summer Sale or Steam Winter Sale or whenever you're watching. Just, hey, wishlist it. Wait for it to be on sale. It is definitely a good four hours of your time. So thank you very much for joining me for this far, and I hope you have a wonderful day.